What's up, guys? Haven't started a vlog from home in a while. Uh, this weather inspired me. It is beautiful outside. Totally beautiful. June 1st, which means a few things. It means my birthday's in three weeks. In case you guys want to send me anything, let me know. Um, and it means the VidCon's in three weeks. Slash our trip to California. It means Jessica's going to come over. It means that I got a call from the rec center where Austin plays baseball. And apparently at least a couple kids' parents requested to be on my team for the summer league that starts in two weeks. So Austin might be playing that and I might be coaching. So that might be fun. It just means everything's... The crap's about to hit the fan, but in a good way. It's a, It's beautiful. And all is well, but going to be crazy busy and hectic and stuff like that. That's good, though. Excited. Excited to have Jess over. Excited to be in summertime, even though when you work, it doesn't really matter. It's summertime. Stephanie will be enjoying these here, or this time for the rest of her life. Or I'll still be at work all summer. Anyway, um, headed to work. Friday. No real plans. Weird hanging out with Scott last night. We hadn't hung out in a long time. As you guys know, he disappeared off the face of the earth like 10 months ago. He just had some personal issues and told me about it, and we're good now. So, might be seeing Scott in more vlogs. Who knows? What's up, guys? At Subway, we're in the hobby shop. Bought a new uh, pinion gear. This is a 15-tooth pinion. This is going to gear down the race so it's a little less hard on the motor. It's going to make it go slower. But when I get a faster motor, it'll make it so it's more manageable. So, it's a good thing, gearing it down. Uh, I am at Subway. It is, I'm excited. It's June 1st. It is the oven roasted chicken month. So I'm gonna get six inch, I'm gonna eat six inches for lunch and I'll eat the other half later, which is exciting and good. Uh, being good. Stephanie's having fun at Austin School. I guess they just released the butterflies. I'm excited to see that video. Beautiful. What's that? That is, I know I'm not a butterfly. How do you know you're not a butterfly? Because I do not have a proboscis. No proboscis, yeah. Proboscis. I do not have wings. No. I do. I know my parents. Yeah. Daddy. <laughs> nice. I like daddy. I said he affects eyes. And I was not born as a caterpillar. I love it. Kids get a metamorphosis award. I was playing with those arms really quickly, um, and it was hard to pick to pick because there were so many. So we tried to um, try to be very fair. We talked about who that we we chose. It doesn't mean that all the kids are not fantastic because they are. We worked so much in first grade. When they first came to this, they weren't really writers, and now they're writing big stories about butterflies and Legos, and uh, they have just taken off. And we ask you just to keep that going with them this summer. Keep them writing, keep them reading, and let them write and read about what they love. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with the awards. Thank you. The Metamorphosis Award is for the students that we have seen go through a complete transformation. So we've talked to the kids a lot about change and metamorphosis and what they'll go through in their in their school years. So we've got a couple of Metamorphosis Awards. And then the Butterfly Awards were for kids who came to first grade just as like, kind of like a golden butterfly, just ready to go. And they've been classroom leaders, they've been helpers, they've um, just been the cream of the crop. And we can only pick, each teacher can only pick two. And uh, we've got things that will go in their portfolios for every kid, but we don't want anyone to feel left out. And I know we, we're in a, in a world right now where every kid gets a trophy, and we're, so we're trying to make everybody feel fantastic, but we really wanted to highlight some of those. So I'm going to step into my class and award mine, and Miss Dowdy will step in here, and then Miss Marnell and Miss Andrea, they help in both of our classrooms, so they will be kind of back and forth. Um, so. you, want, you want the aides to go first? Uh, the aides can go first. Yeah, wait, go before, first. before we do that, Oh, that's so cool.
What'd you make? Alexa! It's a funky half small. Yeah, funky butterfly. Something broke that one's wing. Austin liked it that way though, huh? Abby liked the M&M's. And he liked the M&M's. What's up guys? We are headed to Walmart. I decided I better break out Austin's sweet transformer fishing pole that he got last year for his birthday. So he can go fishing with Grandpa tomorrow and I'll probably go with as well. And I broke it out and on the first cast the button broke and it's like a zap. It wasn't cheap. It was like a $20 plus fishing pole. So we are taking it back to Walmart. Probably going to go hit up some Applebee's because I've got the coupon and we've got the uh, the under 500 menu there. So that'll be good. So the, all that stuff that you guys just saw was uh, today was Celebration of Learning Day at Austin School. Monday is going to be field day where they're going to have games and stuff, but today was just them releasing their butterflies that they've had since they were caterpillars. Um, them showing their parents everything that they've done. I was there all day, but a lot of parents showed up for just the lunch and everything, which was really cool. A lot of the parents that don't get to be there normally got to see everything. It was so much fun. And then I got to talk to the current teacher, first grade teacher's aide, she is going to the other school, another school, and going to do kindergarten. But before she's leaving, she is putting in my name for a recommendation for next year first grade uh, teacher's aide. She also introduced me to one of the teachers who will be teaching first grade next year and told her to recommend me. Um, and my resume has been, I turned my resume last week and they're going to be hiring Teacher's aides probably starting sometime next week, is what they said. But to have, and the secretary of the school is going to recommend me, so to have a first grade teacher who wants me to be in her classroom, a teacher's aide who told that teacher that if she was a teacher, she would hire me and recommend me, um, she's going to recommend me, and the secretary, which is so cool. I'm so excited. I hope that they call me. That would be the best. The best. Thing I could do school and go to... Uh, help in first grade and learn a lot, and which would be so helpful. I would love it. For me? And I'd be pretty close to Austin. That would be pretty awesome, too.